Hey there, so uh, it's just me today and um, the topic that I'm going to cover is consumables and this is a very important topic because this is one of the most important part especially when you are designing a business model and I have seen many businesses, small businesses struggle to expand just because they did not take care of this part in their business and they struggled for, for, for a long time in order to grow and because of this inefficiency they hit a lot of major barriers so let's understand <clears throat> what this topic is about I have covered this topic in past as well but hopefully uh, this time I'm able to cover with a better perspective and uh, so what does consumable mean so what consumable means essentially it's not an eatable does not necessarily mean an eatable it can be an eatable but it can be something else as well for example Toothpaste is a consumable. Battery is a consumable. Battery is a consumable. Uh, similarly, haircut is a consumable. Service. You need a haircut every few weeks or every few months. You need toothpaste every few months right so all of these products and services are consumables and when you're designing your business model especially when you're starting out for the first time you want to make sure that you are selling consumables you don't want to sell non-consumables until later sure you can sell non-consumables as well but you don't want to sell them in the initial phase of your business because the initial phase of the business is the most crucial and you want to be able to penetrate the market as much as possible so let's understand why is that so when you are selling a consumable it means that if a person makes a purchase from you once He's going to make purchases from you again and again. Repeat purchase because the item that you're selling is consumable, which means that he's going to run out of it. He's going to run out of the consumable uh, or the service or product that he has purchased and he is going to have to purchase it again. For example, health. A person gets sick again and again that's a consumable on the other hand marriage is a non consumable selling a, a you know service in as a wedding planner you are selling a non consumable because if a person gets married once he's not getting married again and again but if you are a doctor, then you are selling a consumable service because person gets sick multiple times. Many people get sick multiple times a year. Right. So you want to make sure that you are selling a consumable in your business model, because if you are selling a non consumable, your graph is going to look like this. So you have initial growth and then you're going to hit a plateau. Right. But if you're selling a consumable, then your graph is going to look like this. No plateau, because once you have made customers, you don't need to invest any more energy into making more customers or with every new customer that you get 
your uh, your recurrent revenue increases so there is no plateau secondly what happens with consumable if you're selling a consumable right so business has two parts front end and the back end and you need to be able to focus on all these parts of the business in order to build a business good business if you are just focusing on front end you are neglecting the back end and if you are focusing on the back end you are neglecting the front end and you cannot focus on both of them simultaneously so when you are selling a consumable initially you are delivering the consumable through another seller another provider but once you have built certain customer base at that point so so initially you are uh, taking care of the back end stuff using another provider right and you are taking care of the front end side yourself however once you have done enough work in building the customer base on the front end side the customers enough customers then you don't you no longer need to fo continuously focus on front end you can now shift your focus to the back end and create your own products or services as well if you are selling a non consumable on the other hand then non consumable you have to focus on the front end side consistently as soon as you remove your focus from the uh, from the front end side your sales are going to stop because you need a new customer all the time every time you need to generate revenue you need a new customer and once the customer makes a purchase from you he's not going to make purchase from anyone again for a very long time which means that you have to find another customer and so you are consistently focusing on the front end side and that's consuming a lot of energy on your part so that energy is being sucked out of the back end side and you won't be able to focus on the back end side of the business now the true beauty is that any business no matter which business you are in if you are in a consumable business already congratulations you have passed you have you will be able to pass uh, many many barriers without even putting any additional efforts right and your expansion will be quicker but if you are in non consumable business right in that case we have a good news for you as well because any non consumable business can be turned into consumable business just with a little bit of tweak just bit a little just just with a little bit of tweaking you can turn your non consumable business into a consumable business without modifying the product or service as much so you don't have to shut your non consumable business down completely you don't have to do that you don't have to start all over again from scratch you can just make a little bit of tweaks in your business and you can turn this non consumable into consumable how exactly you are going to do that that's up to you that depends on which industry you are in so <clears throat> well let me give you some examples so let's say you are in the business of wedding planning and that's a non consumable business now you can easily turn this non consumable business into a consumable business how you can turn it into event planning so event planning you know many people need to organize events on periodic basis they can be either formal events or informal events right but they need to organize these events on monthly basis weekly basis yearly basis right and once you have a customer he is going to use you to consistently organize his events 
just with a little bit of tweaking, you don't have to give up the resources that you had for wedding planning. You can use the many of those same exact resources in the event planning as well. Right. Similarly, you know, any any other type of business does not matter which business you are in. You can turn that business into a consumable. So with that, we end the session, very short session. And just to recap, you need to turn your if you are if you're doing a non consumable business, that's great. Congratulations. But if you're doing a non consumable business, then there's a good news for you. You can easily turn it into a consumable business without shutting your business down without starting all over again from scratch, you can turn it uh, any non consumable into a consumable just with a little bit of tweaking. And does not matter which business you are in, it can be it can be done in your business. And the advantages of consumables versus non consumables, if you are doing a consumable business, non consumable business, you don't want to dive into non consumable as a beginner, you want to dive into non consumables at a later, later stage. Once you have manpower, uh, enough manpower, once you have assets, and resources, and you have optimized your business, that's when you want to dive into non consumables as well. But initially, you don't want to build your business off of non consumables because that's going to suck a lot of energy from you because business has two parts front end and back end. And if you are selling a non consumable, it means that you have to consistently generate sales again and again, because once a customer makes a purchase from you, he's never going to purchase from you or anyone else ever again. Because his need is fulfilled. Once he makes a purchase once, He's never going to purchase the same thing again. If you are selling a non consumable, which means that you have to consistently work to get more and more customers in order to keep the revenue going in order to keep the revenue at the same rate in order to maintain the revenue. You have to produce more and more customers. But if you are doing that, that means that you are sucking away energy from the back end operations. So initially you are relying on other sellers to provide the backend to provide the service or the product but then you are not able to build your own product or service because you are focusing your entire time on the front end on the other hand if you are selling a consumable then you are not maintaining your revenue with every customer your revenue increases and once you have enough number of customers enough revenue coming on consistently without even producing any more new customers, then you can focus your energies from front end to back end so that you produce your own products or service. And that's that allows you to break a lot of barriers in your business. Very simple optimization does not even need as much work in order to turn a non consumable to a consumable and it produces really great results.